Good morning guys, it is GCSE results day. Don't know why I started the video, you are fully aware that it is GCSE results day. You have been counting down to this day since March when you left school, I guess, and they told you exams were cancelled. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you is to ignore all of the headlines today. You will see headlines saying like blah blah blah, percentage of grades have been lowered. You will see grade line headlines saying blah blah blah, this many people have got A's which is higher than last year, or this many people have got 9's which is higher than last year. Um, it is all bollocks. Sorry, I know you're not really used to me throwing, but it is all bollocks because they can basically take statistics and skew them to tell whatever story they fancy telling at the moment. And if you're looking at horrifying headlines with horrifying numbers and it is before you've got your results day, they're just doing it to scare you. It's the newspaper version of clickbait. Um, they're just doing it to some newspapers to scare you, to try and make you read it when actually the big headlines and the big numbers and the statistics don't really matter. What matters is you and your grades. Those are the only things that are important. I do not want you to ask other people what grades they got and then I do not want you to tell anyone else what grades you've got because the only thing that matters this year is one, are you happy with the grades that you've got? And two, do the grades that you've got allow you to progress onto the next stage? So will they get you onto your course in uh, sixth form, in college? Will they get you onto that apprenticeship? Those are the only two things that matter this year. Because comparing actual grades is, first of all, rubbish. But this year, especially, it is completely meaningless. The grades are not a representation of you as a person, they are just numbers and letters on a bit of paper and hopefully those numbers and letters on a bit of paper will let you get into sixth form and college or your apprenticeship where you can actually prove what a brilliant, wonderful, hardworking, amazing person you actually are. So after you get your results, come back and tell me if you're happy or not, if they've got you on to the next place. And if you're not happy and if you haven't gone to the next place, then I will help you and I will advise you uh, what to do next, whether it's going to some form of appeal, very, very limited this year, or whether it's going to be more of um, a resitting in the autumn thing. I have been putting out lots of videos over the past few days that explain everything in much, much more detail. So if you've got any question about or if you've got a question about resits or if you've got a question about like exams in the autumn potentially resitting the whole year go and watch those videos first and then come back and ask me questions I will spend as much time as I can um, answering YouTube comments on Instagram and on Twitter just trying to be as available for you guys as I can um, so, oh god, I just feel all the videos I'm making at the moment are just really, really sad and depressing, um, just because that's my mood at the moment. And um, things will get better, guys. We will eventually be allowed to go back to normal, whatever that actually is. And when you are telling your grandkids about this, it'll be something that, you know, they study in GCSE history but I can definitely see that happening. Um, so please remember, we will get past this. We will get through this. Things will get better. The most important thing is um, not necessarily the, the numbers and the letters that you are getting, but whether they allow you to move on to the next point in your life where you can progress and um, do well. Um, while we are talking about the next page in your life, if it involves A-levels, starting in September I will have A-level maths, A-level psychology, A-level chemistry and A-level biology with videos, whole topic videos, reading guides, workbooks, um, courses over on my website. So don't worry, I've got you covered. Um, you're going to be seeing my face for the next two years. Um, yeah, good luck guys. Um, I will be here um, for as much time as I can answering as many questions as I can. Yeah, good luck guys. We can do this. <laughs>